Sometimes a person will try to manipulate you. They'll hold out threats or they'll uh, simply manipulate you by walking out and giving you the silent treatment. We found this highly effective with third graders and immature adults who never got past the emotional intelligence of a third grader. So From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi, welcome to Going Deeper. This is our Poison series. We're talking about toxic things. I wrote a book called Toxic Faith. Uh, last time we talked about these toxic people that can be in our lives. Let's talk about some toxic behaviors that when we see them, we need to do something about it. What about the person who all they ever do is talk about themselves and do things for themselves? Very self-centered. What about the one that manipulates other people? or is emotionally abusing other folks? What about the liar and the deceitful person? What about when we have a lot of difficulty being compassionate toward one of these folks? And what about that person that can't thrive unless conflict or drama is on the table? Well, whatever it is, we, we can do something about this behavior that we see. Now, Let's, let's say you've got someone in your life and you're always guessing which version of them is going to show up at the front door or back door. You don't know who you're going home to or you don't know who's coming home to you because they're so inconsistent and they don't really know themselves why they get this way. But this, in these kind of situations, you know, the, the best thing that we can do is try to sit down with that person and try to anchor them now that they're back home. Hey, how was your day? It's good that you drove home and that you are now home. Because a lot of people will send their body home just to meet the deadline. Their brain won't catch up in, in quite a long time. So what you want to do is help them get in touch with what they're feeling right now, what they're going through. If And, and you look at that behavior of disconnection. Uh, maybe um, they are criticizing you. That's what kind of drew you to them to begin with. But you look at those behaviors and then you know exactly what you're dealing with. Sometimes a person will try to manipulate you. They'll hold out threats or they'll uh, simply manipulate you by walking out and giving you the silent treatment. We found this highly effective with third graders and immature adults who never got past the emotional intelligence of a third grader. So don't let yourself be manipulated by somebody withdrawing from you. Folks like this, they don't own their own feelings. They don't even know what their feelings are. They are blind to their feelings. And so for you to suggest how you feel is kind of a threat to them because they don't know how they feel about stuff. And, um, you're constantly having to prove yourself to them. So a toxic behavior is a demand of you to do what you shouldn't have to do. You shouldn't have to prove yourself to anybody. It should just be an invitation. And here's another real tip off. These folks never apologize for any, anything. They don't know how to say they're sorry. And um, I'll tell you this, when they go through a crisis, everybody goes through a crisis. They are angry, they're sad, and they, they try to drag everybody else down with them. And then, you know, um, they'll use some very nice words, but in a tone that gives them a totally different meaning. Um, or they will dominate you by giving you every undesired detail that you don't want to know about, but that's how they maintain control. And then, when they're talking, they make it about them and not about you. They exaggerate. And as we've said before, they're extremely judgmental. That's what they're doing. So if you're in a relationship and you see these things that are going on, 
Don't stay in that relationship. Tell them you need a break. Encourage them to get help for whatever it is they're going through. And then tell them as soon as they're stable or secure, you're going to be right back there in their lives. We should never enable toxic behavior, perpetuate it. We should never overlook it. We should try to facilitate that whatever it is, this is the last time that we're ever going to see it in that person. Thanks for joining me. If you need some help, you call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.